Yeah, she was pretty funny. Not gonna lie. I mean, you know, compared to like a lot of the other writing Hero Factory has had before, there are some lines in the special that sound really forced and not really all too, all too great. But you know, the comedy does have a lot of strong points. All right. I think it's time for one more level up here, and we'll get back. All right, so back is Stormer. Or no, Bulk. I'll be honest. Bulk looks exactly like Stormer. I I would have never known he was Bulk. I mean, they're both white characters. Isn't Bulk supposed to be like... Uh, is it, yeah, I, I thought Bulk is more of a grayish color. Let me... I'll ask you guys when I get back. You can tell I'm not too big on knowing which hero is which. Uh, or which hero has, you know, all this stuff. They just... They don't have... The names seem kind of... Uh, too simple to remember and yet I don't remember any of them so they're too simple and yet too hard at the same time oh yeah that there we go Super Mario style I'm I apologize for leaving all of you with him uh-huh hey so let me ask you something uh, LJ Shoot. you can see the screen right of course which hero am I playing as right now stormer nope bulk oh dear isn't bulk gray? I could have sworn bulk is gray. Bulk's silver. He's silver. This is this. It's white, isn't it? It looks it. Yeah, I mean, he looks exactly like the Stormer model, but the uh, the little character at the beginning said bulk. So. Yeah, I can see the differentiation of the helmet. Yeah, I see. Look at this. It's just. I think uh, there are many times where the character appears to be shooting above the, the spiders. I don't know why they didn't have the, the the spiders have a hitbox or have a character model that was a bit higher considering how often these characters spend uh, spend time shooting at them. Yeah. Oh, oh did you see that? Squished him. All right, well, Super Bulk Mario. There we go. Super Bulk Mario? Yes. It's a Bulk Mario. He eats a robot like a spaghetti. Okay, let's see. I'm, I'm gonna do health here. Thirty-five, man. Thirty-five. How else? I think I might have accidentally skipped a clip. My bad. You'll see it. You'll see it in the special, anyways. This. I'm, I'm assuming a lot more people are gonna want to play this game because. Uh, yeah, oh see, crap. The majority no. of the reason I can see people wanting to play this game is a to get the to movie. watch yeah. the series and b to see the summer sets. Because this gives you a sneak preview into what's going to be yeah, coming out. I was just gonna summer. say I, I don't remember this being uh, part of the sets that VBN reviewed. Is this mm -hmm. a summer set? Yeah, it's a summer set. So it it looks like kind of like a dog with a cannon. Uh, I'm not gonna try jumping off. Good idea. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I'm just spamming space fire at this point. Good idea. And okay. that was my that's my sister for you. Oh no 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 Blam 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 blam. Not only is Kahi exploding in the game, he will soon be exploded in real life. He will explode and blow up his family members. Look. I don't know where not all Middle Eastern people are the same, okay, LJ? Okay, that's that is that's absurdly offensive. You're not Middle Eastern. I wasn't saying that anyone was. Jeez, you know what, Kahi? Why do you I, gotta be so offensive? Just because huh? I'm on the no, no, same no, no, continent as some other people who may or may not blow up people doesn't mean <sighs> you're being ridiculously offensive here. Oh, here we go. I'm not. I'm not being ridiculous. You know. There we go. Right, Viewers, there we go. I apologize for what Kahi has said. We do not condone his words. Or bullying up people. We don't uh, condone that either. do not reflect those of TTV. I think that's what Messa would say, right? I, I believe so. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, cool. 
It's a good thing you went with health. You kinda needed it. Yeah, I kinda do. I don't know if you're gonna make it or not. Alright, so we know this guy's pattern at least. Whenever he does that giant stomp that makes all the stalactites jump, he's coming down after that. So just don't get hit. Or if you do get hit, just... I don't know how they disappear out of thin air. Oh, crap! Alright, I think I got this guy this time. Whoops. Come on, die! Woo, look at that! One bar health left. And he... No? Well, I think he's gone. No? Yeah, yeah, he probably did. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Double ejection! Look at how many guys I killed. Yeah, while you were running away. They're running around, I should say. Okay. I think this should be our last level for right now. Uh, I'm going to re return to the menu. So, uh, as for the first, you know, this first trio of levels, what do you think, LJ? What's your opinions? I think it's a bit of a step up from the last game which is a brain attack game. I think it is very linear, but it's kind of one of those things, a Lego game at times can be linear, but it's just fun. You know, if you're into playing it for all the the CGI, the cutscenes, then that's great. It's also a really nice way to get a sneak peek into the summer wave. Yeah. No, that's... So honestly, I, I, it looks like a fun game. I've only played a little bit of it. It's kind of just a fun shoot 'em up arcade-ish. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah, like it works. It works kind of well. You know, it's it's a it's a it's basically a shoot 'em up. Uh, it's a side scrolling shoot 'em up, kind of like a Contra, except not really like Contra. It's uh, you know, it's a single level. It's very linear. Uh, I think you know they they have some nice environmental differences. Uh, different stages have different and you know very well built environments, and they are diverse. I'll give them that. Uh, not, yeah. not necessarily the ones with the hero. The ones with the heroes is going around and jumping and trying to collect the things to build his machine. That's kind of the same, but uh, the actual boss battle levels are pretty different. They ha each have a different mechanic to them, and each of the you know, bosses has a different thing they do. So I, I enjoy that. It's not like Brain Attack where every level is basically the same. Yeah. Uh, it's no it's no breakout, unfortunately, but you know, what are you going to do? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely I, a step up from last year's game. Definitely a step up. Uh, I think Amuzo, is it, is it Amuzo or is it Amazo? I wish mm. I, I should have, I should have paid better attention. It's my bad. But uh, they have, I think they've, have, did they develop Breakout as well? Raid wants to I'm develop not sure it? who the developers are. I should really look these things up before I talk about them. But I know that they did do Brain Attack. And I'm pretty sure they did Breakout too. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. Uh, but this is definitely a step up from last year's game. Uh, it's much more interesting. Yeah, and they're the guys that... I think we should probably mention this. They watched our coverage of the last game, actually, and commented. So I really hope they see this one. Because this is kind of the better one. The review of ours. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I remember like the, the first couple times I was just, uh, because I wasn't expecting it to be at po popular at all, I kind of gave a very sarcastic kind of, uh, you know, review, and it did get unfair popular. Unfair review. Uh, unfair, and then like, and then like the, the developers commented on the Oh, thanks for playing. It's yeah, like, I was like, oh, oh wow, we're yeah. jerks. Yeah, I, I felt, I, I honestly really did feel bad about that. It was, the, the, the kind of sarcastic harshness was purely for comedic value, and, uh, Anyhow, here we go, Evasion from Below. Uh, I think next time I might have Meso or Nira joining in, have them give a little update on what they thought of this game. Yeah. But until then, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, the rest of the levels will be up 
of Loda. That's uh, you know, Loda play this week. Look forward to our coverage of you know the Lego Hero Factory Invasion from Below special, and also look forward to uh, what else do we have coming out this week? TTV like normal. Um, you should check out LJ's recap uh, if you haven't before, and uh, you know recap of 2003 for Bionicle. And you know, mm -hmm. oh, we got we got one other special thing which you'll uh, probably you, you see will sometime, see either, that, this, so sometime. either this week or next. Either this mm -hmm. week or next. And also, if you want full reviews on the actual sets, we have a very uh, very in depth uh, interview with VVBN. It's mostly Meso and VVBN talking, but you know, if you want to get more info on the sets, there you go. So that's what we have this year from Hero Factory. Uh, you know, stay tuned, subscribe, uh, like, comment, especially comment if you're having you know problems with the game or opinions or corrections or whatever uh yeah. and finally before anyone does ask the hero factory sets for the invasion from below line will be coming out in the united states in march yes so if yeah. you have not seen them that's why yeah these sets are coming out in march here i think they're available in uh, great britain already they're available in europe but they're not coming to they're not coming to places America. like yeah Places like the United States or Canada until March first. We will. Uh, Isn't Messa trying to bribe Viper to send him over <laughs> some sets? <laughs> oh well. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, there we go. Signing off. I'm Kahi. I'm LJ. And this has been Let's Play Hero Factory Invasion from Below. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>